My boyfriend won't stop hurting me but he says it's an accident. I can't tell anyone or my dad might do something. My 23F boyfriend 23M, who I'll call G and I have been together for a year and a half, he's kind and smart and funny and very good looking. He makes me very happy most of the time, most, in the past 6 months or so he keeps hurting me and I'm starting to get scared, here's some examples. 1. He will shadow hit me, pretend to punch me to make me flinch, and sometimes actually hit me. He just laughs and apologizes like, OMG sorry babe didn't mean to, this happens more than twice a day, with him hitting me a few times a month. 2. He will just plain out kick me extremely hard in my legs, he will just randomly kick me in my shins and thighs, this happens about once a week, he leaves bruises when he does this. 3. He will be playing with me like we wrestle or tickle each other, but during this, he will grab me or hit me or do something else with enough force to leave marks, it's so often that I can't show my legs because I have marks, he always says it's an accident, and he forgets he's a lot stronger than me, and that we were just playing. I hate this, I've told him so many times that he's hurting me that I can't wear skirts or shorts because my legs look horrible in that. When I bring this up, he promises to do better, that he won't laugh when he hurts me, etc. But it happens over and over. Yesterday, in the car on the way to go shopping he snapped at me, and I had a full-blown mental breakdown. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells all the time. That he doesn't care that he hurts me, that it's always an accident therefore I shouldn't be upset. I can't tell anyone close to me because I don't have many friends, and if I told anyone in my family, it would get back to my dad who is not someone I want involved. Think big gang Hispanic man. I'm his only straight daughter and he's extremely protective over me. He can't know about this. I don't want to break up with him. I'm exhausted and hurt and tired. My legs always feel like jelly. I just needed to tell someone what is going on because I'm so sad all the time. Thank you for reading. Edit. I completely blanked and forgot to mention. He had extremely bad diagnosed ADHD, I also do too, and often when he gets really bad tics, it hurts him not to do the things he wants to do. This manifests in needing to hug me super hard, picking me up and dancing which are nice, but also the bad things I mentioned too. And it too, people keep asking me for some details, so here. I don't live with him. We go to school together. I commute and he lives on campus. We have a course together and we hang out outside of that often. The hitting happens at school during class, we sit in the back of the lecture hall, by ourselves or at home. Yes my dad is awesome. I've said Thea's in a comment that he's very protective of me because of my history with abuse from my brother, his son, and his general distrust of other men. My dad is my best friend he's absolutely incredible. He didn't finish high school, and he's from a third world country. He fought his way to make a good life for me, and I loved him. I broke down in the car about how I was exhausted and tired of him hurting me, and not caring about how he hurt me. I don't know if he does this to anyone else, he doesn't have any friends because he's extremely shy, he and his older brother play with each other rough, but besides that there's nothing else similar to what he does with me. I also want to mention ADHD does not equal an abuser. Some people in the comments are dead set on the fact that I am making people with ADHD into abusers, and that is not my intention. That is G's reasoning for why he hurts me. It's because he gets mental zoomies. Update. Since my breakdown in the car we hadn't talked. He messaged me and asked to go on a walk with me so we could talk about how I was feeling. I said that I wanted to sit on the front porch of my house where there are four cameras, including one that records sound. He agreed, and we talked. When he sat down he asked me if I was still mad at him. I said yes, and that I was surprised he thought I would be okay with him. He shrugged and said, well it wasn't a big deal. You hurt me and I hurt you. For reference I don't hurt him. If we are wrestling then most I will do is push him off me, but I am a lot smaller. I'm 5 feet 0 and 100 pounds, I can't do much even if I tried. I have never ever hurt him even when joking, nor would I ever. I told him that if I hurt him in some way, I don't think I ever have, but on accident like snagging his earrings or something sure accidents happen, that I would like him to talk to me about that so I can better myself and be more careful. I told him that during the current conversation, I wanted to address that intentionally or not, he does hurt me and leave marks, this is where it turns south, he asked me if I thought he hurt me on purpose, I said yes sometimes, I brought up point 2 in my original post, him just kicking me, as it's the most purposeful one, and that I was upset that I have to keep asking him to not hurt me, he got extremely angry and called me insane, that he didn't hurt me, that I walk into his kicks when he's just playing around, he said I've lost my mind, that I'm making this storyline that's he's abusive, he asked me who I've told, I said no one, I haven't told anyone except on here, he asked to see my phone, I refused, 
he told me that I've probably told a bunch of my friends a fake story to make him into an abuser, and that because I'm a woman, they are going to believe me. That if he told his friends about this, they would believe me because I'm a woman, and said it's sexist. Everything I wrote out right now is as ludicrous as it sounds, this is word for word the things he was saying. I broke down and cried that I don't care if it's on purpose just to please stop hurting me. That I'm not crazy, I'm hurt and tired and scared and always walking on eggshells. He just sat there for a bit, laughed really hard, called me a crazy bee and walked to his car while spewing more stuff like that. I'm really upset, he's muted on all apps and I have no interest in reaching out or him reaching out to me. I told my mom and my sisters, who told my dad very lightly that G is no longer welcome at the house, I'm very thankful for all the support I've gotten from you guys and my family. To the people who have treated me with kindness thank you. I'll update again if anything happens.